is what happened round 15 of the FI Motocross World Championship, the MX2 Ram qualifying race here in Udavala, Sweden. Mikkel Harum got himself a whole shot. It was closely followed through the first couple of corners by Simon Langenfelder and the championship leader, Kai De Wolf, as Lucas Koonen was in around about seventh or eighth place. Two KTMs of Liam Everts and Sasha Koonen were right there behind. De Wolf, before the opening lap was done, to Wolf down the inside of Langenfelder to move into second as he gave chase to the number 11 of uh, Harrop. Top of your screen, that was Everts crashing out hard from fourth place. He picked himself up in eighth and would eventually come home in fifth. Lucas Koonen got the better of Rick Elzinger on around about lap four. That put him into fourth place. He eventually came home in third. And then Everts on his charge back found his way past the Yamaha man to move into fifth place. On lap eight of 13, Everts would eventually finish in fifth. Around about the same time, Kai De Wolf alongside Mikkel Harp, who went defensive at the end of pit lane. And with four laps to go, that was De Wolf, the new leader. This was Simon Langenfelder crashing out spectacularly of third. Lucas Koonen moved ahead of him. Langenfelder crossed the line in four. Final lap, Harp had one last sniff. This one here didn't quite go to plan, and that was it. De Wolf did hang on from Harrop. Harrop still yet to win a Ram qualifying race in 2024, but for the sixth time this year, it was De Wolf on the Nistan Hasvana from the Monster Energy Triumph of Harrop. Lucas Koonen was third, Langenfelder fourth, and Liam Evers crossed the line in fifth place. And behind them, Frucho Zanke, Sasha Koonen, Rick Helsinger, Carlos Racialist, and Andrea Damo. In terms of the championship, Guy De Wolf now 67 clear of Koonen. Langenfelder 13 further back. It was an explosive start to the MXGP Ram qualifying race over on the far side. Prado, Bogus, Bogus over the Fox hole shot line, but watch this. The line run up the inside of Gifting. He bails out. Hurlings into the back of the Yamaha man. Those two having a fight through traffic, but it was Bogus who led from Geiser and Prado. Prado made his move into second, coming out of turn three, got past the Slovenian here, but a couple of corners later, maybe three or four corners later, Geiser fought back immediately and regained that second position. We already knew then that it was going to be a proper dust-up between these two. On lap four, we had a change of the lead. Geiser jumping long past Brian Bogus to take over the lead, and a lap later, Prado down the inside of the Dutchman as he moved into second. And the lap after that, it was Roman Fevre who got the better of the 189 as he moved into third. That's where Fevre would stay a distant third from Geiser and Prado. Bogus crossed the line in fourth. Hurlings on his charge through the field, found his way past Glenn Koldenhoff to move into ninth. And a couple of passes later, he found his way past Gifting and Jan Panzer as he moved into seventh. By then, Seymour was too far ahead. It was a great ride though. Initially, for Isaac Gifting, the top Swede was in fifth position, trying to find his way past Bogus until he hit the rear wheel. Gifting still crossed the line in ninth, though. The Battle of the Swiss went the way of the number 91. Jeremy Sewer edging out. Valentin Guillo for fifth. Guillo coming home in sixth. Hurling seven, Panzer eight, Gifting nine, and Colton off ten. But for the seventh time this year, it was Tim Geiser who run the Ram qualifying race ahead of Jorge Prado. Of course, he'll extend his championship lead as well. More on that in a moment. Fevre across the line in third ahead of Bogus, Siwa, Gio, Hurlings, Panzer, Gifting, and Koldanoff. And in terms of the championship, Tim Geiser now 25 points clear of Prado. Hurlings now 19 behind the Spaniard.